Hey guys, hello, keep it dirty off road. And today we're starting a new video series on the channel, all to do with the Beamer. Now, I know this is an off road channel, but we also have the E39. It's a very unique car. And there's not that many videos on how to do a lot of the stuff on this car. So we're gonna start doing it. It's an 18 year old car. They're just starting to really come up in value. We're gonna do a whole video series on this car starting with how to get the car on all four jacks. Now, I've seen a few videos of guys trying to show you how to jack up the car, but there's a couple problems with what I've seen them do. Mainly, they all start in the back first and then raise the front. To me, that's a big mistake. Your braking is all in the back. Your, uh, your parking brake is all in the back. If you lift the back up first, you risk that front end moving on you. Even if you chalk it up, you're going to risk that front end moving too much. Also, on top of that, by having the car up already in the air and trying to lift up the front, you're lifting up more than half of the weight of the car. So to me, that's a little too dangerous. And I have a better way to do it that we've already done on this car. First thing we're going to do, we're going to chalk up the rear tires. Yes, the rear tires. Now for this, you are going to need two jacks. And the reason for that is because this car is low. There's not that much space under there. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna roll the jack under this side and lift up the front so we can get access to the subframe underneath the car. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this jack to lift up the side and then we're gonna bring in the second jack from the front and lift up from the subframe at the bottom. Now for this section, ECS tuning does make a really great pad. I highly recommend you get that pad um, for jacking up from the bottom of the car. Because as you'll see, the car has a rubber pad right there in order to pick it up. Now you need to jack up the car high enough to be able to fit a jack up front and I'm going to show you where you need to put the jack onto. Now we're going to bring in the jack from the front. We need to get it into that subframe section right there in the middle. So see that right there, that little piece sticking out between the skid plates and all that stuff? That's the subframe. That right there is where you want to actually jack up the vehicle from and get the whole front end off the ground and then put two jacks on, two jack stands on each side. Now don't forget to repeat this process too when you're getting it off the jack stands. And you want to start off with the back and take it in reverse. Lower the back down, make sure the wheels are chalked, then come back to the front, get under the subframe, support the car from the subframe, and then lower it down on each side as you're going along. You know, this is the best way to do it guys so that the car doesn't roll away from you. Hope you guys find this video helpful and don't forget to tune in on the channel as we do more content for the E39. We're going to be doing Power, power steering pump leak fix, which we got a pretty leaky power steering pump. We're gonna change out the fluids on the car. We're gonna do the rear diff, the transmission oil, and a bunch of other things. We're gonna change out the valve covers. We're gonna do quite a bit of work on the channel. So make sure you guys tune in and check it out. All right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.